So in the last video I said that we're about to have a conversation that's kind of like playing or talking to uh, Sovereign, and this is it, this is Vigil. This one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring See, this I don't like. Since you arrived at this what, like how he's speaking English? I have translated yeah, like he's just kind of like, oh, I've calculated how you Earthlings would speak. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I love Cocky Shepard there for no reason. analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer. But the name of the song that's playing right now is Vigil. It plays in the main menu, and it you must and it's one of the most popular songs in the series. It replays quite a bit. You must understand. Uh, I'd say the most times it's used is probably Mass Effect 2. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. <laughs> Shepard looks so sad there, the like, Citadel, well, the he looks like a, a mix of sad and heads, kind of maps, happy. Census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed, others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control, taken in as refugees by other Protheans. I don't know if I uh, the machines. brought this up before, but the reason Within that I really like the Reapers, the Reapers and the reason I think they're so cool is they're somewhat the based on uh, Lovecraftian and lore, and absolutely like thorough. just some sentient being that's, you know, in space, waiting, and, uh, you know, they take out different races, and I think that's, it's a really cool concept, but we never really learned too much about them, uh, which is a little unfortunate. certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished. The Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers They're like super space hellers. Mm -hmm. they, they, all, they all have mustaches. Yeah, that's More true. Likely they are driven by motives and goals we just haven't seen Sovereign up close yet. Brain. No, if you look really close, you can see he has a little toothbrush and mustache going on. What yeah, does that's true. Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon, 
to backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide so kind of, of an entire species yeah. is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I understand where Vigil's coming from, but I began to disable creepy. the life support yeah. of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? There's no way they can be hydrated in those pods. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Imagine if you saw it. Nope. Take a <laughs> when you go. When you reach the Whoa. Station, Goodbye, Shepard. <laughs> upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything. Think real hard to about that, Garrus. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. So this part I actually really like. It's kind of, uh, you get back in the, it's the only Mako part that I actually like in the game. Uh, you're just kind of, you go in the Mako and it's pretty much just one big race against time. Uh-huh. I'd say it's very Halo 1-esque, but... I'm pretty sure yeah. you disagree with me. No, I. It's definitely like end of Halo Three, you know, run away from big threat in Jeep. Uh huh. Um, only it's better because it's not Halo. Mm hmm. And I and think that's way, yeah. I think that's the way I'm going. Yeah, I think you go to the right. I'm trying to remember how the last video you parked. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. I barely remember what I had for breakfast. Gluten free waffles. It was a bagel. Oh. Uh, how come I'm not surprised? Uh, so yeah, we're just, we're going through a new air. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Mako, so much for the race against time. Mako done. The wheels Shepard, pop. Shepard done.
done goofed. And what Shepard just got so much whiplash, <laughs> broke his neck. Yeah, good thing Rex doesn't have a neck. Mm -hmm. And no, I Rex don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you're supposed to go forward. I Mike. think I'm exploring. Like yeah, race I, I thought, time. I thought that there was something over there. Well, right now is not the race against time. But yeah, I guess I thought that there was something back there, but there's not. Here's the part where it's really uh, racy. See, I thought you were going to say racist for some reason, so I was just picturing Shepard. Yeah, like he doesn't like rice. <laughs> you said racist. Did I? You did. Oh. And here's the... I don't want to say the last Geth Colossus, but it's, I think, the last Geth Colossus that we're really going to take our time gonna to stall you. kill. Yeah. There are mo more Geth Colossi in this area, but I don't think we really should, like, pay attention to them. That was easy. And there we go. We'll never fight one of those again. You never really fight a Colossus on foot. No. Because by the time 3 comes around, they have to, you know, big Reaper. Spoilers, man. Things. You, you cut everything out anyway. Yeah, I cut everything out. There's no commentary. <laughs> I don't know what these, like, big tendril tree things are. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be, like, roots. I, yeah, Maybe? but what are they for, though? Uh... Like, if we look up, is there going to be a giant man-eating plant? Mm -hmm. A giant human fly trap or something? Yeah, like, I don't quite understand. But I'd say, in terms of plot, besides uh, Eden Prime, since that's the first thing you do, this is probably the shortest planet in the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even then, I'd say it's still probably... The, the, again, the Mako sections, I think, are specifically there just to, sh you know... Uh, well, I think this one makes sense. Yeah. The Mako's usually there just to lengthen out things. But this is actually, like, a key element, I think. Yeah, this is cool. This is, like I said, the only makeup part that I really like. <laughs> and I do believe... Oh, shit, there's uh, Sovereign. And you can see the little mustache. Yeah, you can see it right there. Right there. Trust us, you can see yeah. it. Uh -huh. You gotta know where to look. Mm. You also have to have eyes, so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this and you don't have eyes, we're sorry. And if you're watching this without ears, how are you hearing this? Mm -hmm. I like this scene just because it, it... For me, it's a kind of throwback to uh, Nice Republic 1. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into that because Mike hasn't seen it. But, yeah, it, for those of you who played Knights of the Republic 1, you obviously recognize what this is like. Oh, I remember that from Knights of the Republic 1, when that happened. Star Wars. But, uh, I really like this scene, because I like how, like, overpowering the, the Geth and Sovereign are to the, uh... Holy shit, that Geth just killed someone! Yeah. That's, uh, two for the Geth, Jenkins and that lady. Uh-huh. And, uh... The rest for Shepard. Yeah, everything else for Shepard. But yeah, we've got 35 seconds to get to this area. It should never, ever be a problem. You should no. never, like, fail this part. No. Unless, Unless you're an idiot and you just want to shoot everything. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to do that. No. Well, I'm sure you could. I'm sure someone's probably been able to, like, take down a few of those and still get through the relay, but... You want to just go through the conduit. 